Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, a mail carrier held up a gunpoint while out on a route in Melrose. Police say the two people seen here threatened the carrier near Orchard Lane Saturday afternoon before running off. The Postal Service is offering a reward of up to $50,000 for information. Armed robbery of a USPS employee, by the way, is a federal offense. A new rule in Boston requires all TVs in public spaces to have closed captioning. The ordinance issued by the city council says it became clear during the pandemic that people with hearing loss didn't have the same access to critical public health information on TV. This new rule is meant to remove that barrier. The ordinance takes effect immediately. A third person is under arrest in connection with an armed bank robbery on Martha's Vineyard. Romaine Clayton is charged with being an accessory after the fact to last month's robbery. Prosecutors say that he was seen using a car that was later used by one of the other suspects to board a ferry off the island. According to police, the thieves got away with more than $39,000. They're also accused of pointing a gun at employees and tying them up with duct tape and zip ties. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam, and it's going to be a very brisk and blustery December day. We're starting off with wind chill values near the single digits in this afternoon, even though we likely land in the upper 30s and low 40s with the northwesterly breeze still gusting around 25 miles per hour. It's going to be feeling like the upper 20s and low 30s. But we are all bright and dry today. We get a few more fair weather clouds to graze us as we move into Wednesday morning and a chance of some coastal showers tomorrow afternoon. A few flurries, no impact at the end of the day. And this is not going to be the main event. We're going to double down as we move into the end of the week. The only consideration between Wednesday and Thursday is going to be the increased wind speed. So we'll notice them between 25 and nearly 35 miles per hour for interior locations closer to 45 miles per hour by the coastline. We have a low pressure generating speed out of the mid Atlantic, and this is going to be driving towards southern New England for Friday. We're putting us in general rain as we move into the early morning hours. There may be initially some flakes for interior locations, but a lot of that snow is going to get forced off to the north if the path stays similar to where we're currently seeing it. So the most likely snow event is likely going to be over into northern Worcester County, southern New Hampshire included too. This could be some significant snow on top of it, accumulating at a pretty rapid rate. Ski country is going to get a good dose out of this one, but by the time you reach 495, and into in coastal areas. It's probably mainly just rain. We'll keep a close eye on that. That's the next weather alert. Liam, we're going to be back under quiet conditions Saturday and Sunday. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Zach. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.